Greetings from Shareability Uganda Limited. Here is an update uh, about the CBC new curriculum report software, uh, currently version 2.1. Uh, a number of uh, upgrades and updates have been made thanks to feedback from over 60 schools now that are using the software. As you all know, last year, NCDC released a circular guiding schools on reporting learner achievement and an eight level grading scale which comes from f star up to g was released and uh, ncdc was asking schools to report about learners achievement in the competence-based way and thanking all schools that have made an effort to implement the new lower secondary curriculum as described so a report card format was released and uh, it is around actually seven pages according to the sample that was released and this is without some information that was uh, when you see there are some gaps there but NCDC guided on how we are supposed to comment about the, the remarks genetic skills and uh, how report about the games and sports the clubs the projects and also uh, the key was provided and also uh, the end of year uh, format uh, having the formative out of 20 end of year out of 80 and the grading so this was the format uh, that NCDC was released so basing on this format we came out with a, a simple tool basing on Microsoft Office so when you purchase this software from us you receive an email like this one, like this one here is for Achaba Secondary School. You receive an email like this one here with a download link which you will use to download the software. So when you download the software, there is also a video here that you can watch and there are other guidelines on how to use the software including resources like the syllabus books and uh, office itself in case you need it. So we shall send you this software and uh, also we shall send you a password so when you download this software here you will get a zipped folder like this one here so you right click on this zipped folder and then you can be able to extract so the password is going to be given uh, to extract your software okay so when you extract it you will get a zipped folder like this one here this zipped folder is going to have a few files in it which are going to help you to prepare your report cards to conform to the format that NCDC provided. So the main, f uh, you'll find the folder uh, having photos. In this folder you can put there some photos. The way you take photos for your name registration or IDs, you can take photos, resize them as squares and then you put them in that folder if you want photos on the report card. Then also you'll find a readme file this readme file is going to have some guidelines on how to use this the, the tool still with the link and then also you'll find uh, a data entry sheet so this data entry sheet is one that you are going to open but before you open it i would advise that you can actually first duplicate it you can duplicate if maybe you want to do for several classes you can duplicate senior one and then you can actually rename them so you can say senior two, uh, you can rename for senior three, okay? So you can um, you can uh, you can right click and uh, and rename uh, each of these ones here, and have uh, versions for several uh, classes. So when you double click on uh, on it, you are going to see it open. Now you can use Excel uh, Excel 2013 onwards works well. Uh, even 2010 can work, even older versions can work, but the, uh, from 2013, the interface is, uh, matches what is in this tutorial and it will be able to work for you. So, you will open the data entry sheet, like I said, you can duplicate copies for other classes and then you open uh, for senior one, for example. So, inside this, it will open the first tab, which is the class teachers tab. In this class teachers tab, ideally, the class teacher is supposed to put in here the names of students for example if i want um if i want to put here 
uh, student, uh, I, I can just go ahead and I put in. So this is the Rogers Mukale. This one here comes within, but I can change this one to Rogers Magola, for example. Okay. So if I have Rogers Magola as my student, I, you can change these names, uh, put in more names here as a class teacher. So if I, for example, I put um, uh, U0003 uh, and I put here um, uh, Primrose uh, Chalunga. So if I put that one, okay. Yeah, so that one will be a student. Now, where there is a photo, you just right click and then you say link okay you see link if you're using office 2013 and above you will see the link option then you can select your photos okay if you don't have then you select you select the photo it will come there then you can put in the class maybe senior two uh, but it always advise if you are, you do one class don't mix classes so you can have um one class i put the, the system supports up to 800 students in a class so if you have uh, more than 800, then you may have to process streams. Yeah, so I don't expect one stream to have more than uh, 800 students. Then uh, the house, you can put in the house, maybe uh, red. Okay. Now we have put a, a column for code. This is an optional column. In case you are having things like school pay code or any other code, you can put it. This is an, a different code, uh, different from... The, the 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 identifier the 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 linear number or anything so you can put in there a code that you may need okay so we have the days present and days absent this is attendance in line with the ncdc uh, sample there is um days present and days absent so as a class teacher you should be able to be taking some records of learners who are absent if uh, 10 are absent and um the the, the 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 number of students who are present uh, uh the, the the number of days salonga was present was maybe uh 78 okay then the total will be 88 so the total is added automatically uh, from that so you can be able to double check and see that the total days are the same okay so this is basically uh what you need to put as a class teacher these are the details of games maybe the physical education teacher or the game teacher can help the house teacher can help uh, we have in this version added uh, the project title and the, we have added two projects in line with the NCDC guidelines that learners can do a maximum of two projects so here we have project one and then we have project two so if project one is maybe a uh, computer repair then maybe the other one here is maybe um, writing uh, a storybook uh, okay, a storybook. Okay, writing a Kiswahili. Okay, story, storybook. So if you if a learner that was the title, then you can say uh, Rogers exhibited a mastery. Okay, or Kiswahili. Uh, through a well composed so you can give a comment um basing on what you think so this information is in case learners did projects but if they never did uh, they can be left op optional so there is a provision for two projects in this version okay so um we have this is just for the class teacher now for you the subject teacher what do you do as a subject teacher you just come and you go to your subject if you are a mathematics teacher you will go to mathematics and you realize that the once the class teacher puts in names of students for you will see them here so this was rogers magola it has changed here primrose chalunga has come here you are not supposed to change if you try to change from here it will refuse you are not a class teacher in case you want to change it maybe add another student has to be added on the class teacher sheet and then details will appear here so for you what you have to do is to enter the activity the 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 the, the, the score out of three for the chapter so you should know how to add up and get this value from the activities of integration if you try to put in something bigger than three it will refuse it will guide you that you have to add the numerators and 
denominators of all activities. If in case you have done more than one activity of integration in a chapter, then add the the denominators and denominators as as per the guidance from NCDC on how to add up and compute the activities of integration. So here what we need is the score. Uh, the, 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 that score which is going to be submitted to UNEB, which is also being put on the report card. The system automatically computes out of 20 uh, these uh, activities of integration. And uh, in the case, uh, in a chapter, in a, in a subject, for example, if I go to English, uh, learners have done only three topics, then um, you only you can supply for only three topics. Yeah. Now, in the case a learner has missed one of the papers, this is a new thing here. Uh, if a learner has missed one of the papers, for example, he has got uh, a 3.0, okay, in, but he missed out this one here, then you can put an X. Putting an X, it will put there that the learner got missed assessment. But if you don't put an X, for example, if a learner does only one assessment out of three, then it will grade him out of one, average of one, and it will show that he has got 20 out of 20, yet he missed is other word assessment so you can put there an x uh for that learner to be graded uh to to for for, for to indicate that this learner actually missed assessment yeah so we have other subjects as well so you go ahead and put uh the scores for activities of integration done uh that term please note that the activities of integration are basing on the chapters done so we have these resources. We have uh, some resources that we share also in email. Uh, you can get access to all these syllabus books, and then you can be able to use them. Uh, so you, you 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 can know how many uh, topics are supposed to be covered in a term. So those are the ones that when you cover them, uh, they what called the, the program planner inside the syllabus books. These syllabus books we give them to you. When you buy the system, there is a link for you to download these syllabus books. So uh, you can be able to know that, okay, in Senior 1 Term 1, there are only two what? There are only two topics. Chemistry and Society and Experimental what? Chemistry in Senior... No, there are actually four. Uh, there are two in under the theme of Introduction and then there are another two under the theme of Using of Particle Matter. So there are four topics. So we, that's why you see here under Chemistry, uh, there is a provision. So when we are doing this system, we made sure that uh, we have. So if there are only four topics, then I expect only four, uh, four entries here to be submitted uh, on the, if the teacher managed to complete the syllabus coverage. Yeah, so chemistry I would expect. Then for subjects like RIE, you realize that uh, uh, most of the time uh, there, are, there is just like one topic per term. If you open so there I would expect only one topic to be submitted although there is provision for more than one uh, you enter only one topic and it will grade and uh, this mark here will be computed uh, to out of 20 which is the formative score now when it comes to end of year exams uh, learners are subjected to end of year examination and so you can put there the mark out of 80 that the learner has done at the end of the year exam so that is entered there and uh, the system automatically adds the 20 percent and the 80 percent and then it gives us a grade um whether it is a for example if this learner has got a 20 then it will give an f okay if uh, the learner here has got a one then it is giving a g so it goes up to the eight level grading scale now one thing also you should notice here is that uh in this version uh sometimes schools uh and this is what you normally ask that you're supposed to override these uh comments which are here so that you put in you give a remark on the competency of the learner for example if a learner has covered in the ict has learned about typing documents and that was the first topic and another topic was maybe hardware and this is what he covered so here there is a comment the learner is excellent in most of the areas of the topics covered okay this is a generic comment but you can override this and put in uh the comment exactly on how the learner what were the strengths of the learner what were the weaknesses of the learner in word processing or in the topic of hardware so you can be able to give a more detailed comment but these ones here 
uh, uh, auto generated basing on the performance in case the learner has uh, scored the uh, poorly then it will it will put there achieved some competences in case the learner has the the performance is poor achieved very few or no competences so it, it, it automatically put some comments for you in case maybe you have uh, you are out of time and uh, you don't have time for commenting but you should be able to plan and start commenting on learners early don't wait for end of term and then you start claiming that you never had time to put in comments plan your term uh, when learners are finished activities of integration even if it is half of the term uh, enter in and then put comments uh, about the learner so that at the end of the term you just generate the report card so basically that is what you need to do here on teacher's remark then also we have the generic skills where you can comment about the learners um, other soft skills and transferable soft skills so you can be able to see uh, okay so uh, you can say uh, Rogers is very humble okay and uh, and exhibits okay leadership okay uh, uh, skills uh, among peers okay so here we comment about the soft skills the unique skills the problem solving the communication and all that so you can give or to give comments about that this is expected of you as a teacher as you triangulate and as you observe uh, the learners in class as they do their activities so basically this uh, software tool is really taking no taking into consideration the guidance from any CDC in this version we have added the number of we added more elective choices so as you realize uh, we have the compulsory subjects first then we have the electives like li like religious education uh, so in case some learners are doing IRE, others are doing CRE, you can put all their scores here. You can put some for IRE and others for CRE. Because so there's one of one sheet for religious education. So if you are doing CRE, then you go ahead and put there CRE. You can be able to edit up here the subject name as you need. Um, literature, if you are doing it, then you put here marks. If you are not doing it, you can leave it blank. We have ICT, it has been added. We have agriculture, all these are electives uh one two three four five okay uh art and design then we also have language now language it could be luganda it could be french it could be arabic it could be so you can look at which language uh you are doing so if at a school you are doing two languages then you can put marks for both languages here those who are doing french can be put then also the teacher for for, for luganda when he comes he can enter on the same sheet remember kiswahili is alone here we can have language the other side on the report card we shall see how to uh, have that clearly stated uh, there so this is a provision for that then we have put another sheet for any other subject if your school is really offering many then you can see if there is nutrition and food technology performing arts technical drawing um, so you can put uh, that other subject. So in case you realize that there are some students who are doing, for example, NFT and performing arts, but then you realize that uh, there is no maybe uh, agriculture or there is no art and design, then you can decide to put uh, performing arts on this other sheet. You change here, you put there performing arts, and then on this one you put there um, technology and design. So feel free to change uh, which subject in here. But down here you cannot rename this these worksheets uh, in the system they are locked so uh, these are the names of the worksheets uh, but they don't matter the names here of the tabs what matters would be on the report card so basically that is what you can do uh, as far as this system is concerned and then um, there is a summary sheet here this summary sheet is in case you want to print out some uh, scores for all learners maybe for as a mark sheet for display so we have out of uh, 80 and out of 20 uh, the scores are here and then also we have the scores out of 100 and then the later grades the ABCD so feel free to see what do you want if you learners have only done the out of 20 which is the coursework then it's fine you can just come here and you delete off these ones you can actually copy this uh, sheet you can copy this and uh, open a new spreadsheet and then 
uh, and then you paste uh, your scores and then feel free to delete off uh, the columns that you don't need remain maybe with only the 20s or if you don't want the 20s you can uh, delete still all these and then remain with these ones out of 100 and uh, the later grades so you can remain with the columns that you think are good for your analysis uh, that you need to print out and then you can print out those mark sheets okay so we have finished entering our scores the class teacher entered his results the teachers have entered the activities of integration scores and the comments and also we have chose we have entered marks for our electives here on the class teacher sheet you'll see um you'll see uh if you scroll up to the end you'll see somewhere here where there is automation uh, for the other comments that are uh, displayed the other side uh, for the coursework out of 20 and then also we have some comments which are for the class teacher the class teachers comment um, the general class teachers comment they are also down there so you can be able to, cho to choose uh, the class teachers comment will be there uh, automated and also the these other comments so you can be able to specify your own unique comments uh, maybe you can choose a better way of writing these comments and then you utilize them in your report card so there is a, a provision for making those settings uh, which is there uh, so in case you change uh, those comments then they will change accordingly uh, for the ranges where you have specified so it's always good to first close the excel sheet before you open the publisher file the publisher file is the one which is going to help us in generating the report cards so when you open the publisher file you come and double click on this report system then after it will ask you do you want to access data from the location you say yes it is going to first ask you to uh to do you want to open a sign data i say yes you see it is going to bring this so uh the first time when you are connecting it asks you for this so you say try to reconnect to the data sheet and then the second time it will just connect the way you saw when it connected on mine so what you do is you now browse onto your desktop you go to the folder where you extracted it and you open the data sheet for senior one where you've been entering your results then you select the first worksheet at the top uh, at shareability.net and then you go ahead and you you go ahead and you open uh, your spreadsheet so when you open the spreadsheet you realize that um, it is going to open and uh, automatically it is going to pick uh, Magola Rogers here and uh, you can realize that if you go under mailings and you go next it will bring another another student Nayodo piece you bring another student uh, Talunga Primrose like that so these ones are the names of students who are the other side in your spreadsheet now one of the things that you need to do is one you need to customize your uh, report card okay so you need to customize your report card so to customize your report card you click on view menu and you go to master page uh, maybe my school is uh, is on uh, so I just come here maybe it is on high school so I'll say change picture because uh, there is the shareability, I can change this picture and I put in my own logo. So I'll go to my desktop or wherever my badge is, I select my badge, okay, and then I'll insert in my badge. So I can remove this other one for shareability. Uh, I, can, I can either just insert picture or I can replace and I can change the name of the school here. If I don't want my logo to be in the middle, I can decide to put it on the right. You can decide to, to design uh, your, um, uh, okay, is on high school. Uh, so, uh, bingo. if this is my school, okay, then I can put here my details. I can change the colors. So I have that. Then there is also this other logo here, which is in the back end. This one also you can change, okay you can change this logo here that is uh, a watermark uh, it is just there for design you can totally remove it or you can change but uh, if you just change like this it will be too thick that it is going to be obstructing the content which is in front so what you do uh, you right click on this under view menu you right click and say uh, format picture and then you go under uh, transparency you can put transparency of around uh, 90 percent uh, or 80 percent so that uh, it is a bit faint it is in the back end but doesn't disrupt so you can put 80 percent or 90 percent basing on 
uh, the brightness of your logo so that it is in the back end so that one you do it from the view menu then from there uh, you can also change the colors as in as you need you realize the school pay code will come down here you can actually rearrange all these things you can change their colors as you need uh, for example this table i don't want it to be red i want it to be a different color so i can come here and i choose uh, a different color for my table okay so i can say uh, i'll use this one here i'll use a different color for my table and uh, yeah that will be good that is that is it so that is what i wanted i didn't want red so it has become black so you can change uh, all these things now down here the subject names here can be edited or okay, type but uh, they are there connected to what is coming from the other side the topic and competence where does it come from the topic and competence comes from the syllabus book so if i'm in chemistry and i'm looking at uh, chemistry term one senior one other detailed syllabus these chemistry syllabus books are all given to you so the teacher can decide then you ask the chemistry teacher when he's giving you those marks he has to specify which topics so when he, he gives marks now it's not just giving chemistry marks he should do give marks for a given what a given topic that he has taught so if chemistry uh, here is on uh, the first sheet here okay so I can come here and I paste, can paste the special and I text only the what? Only the, 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 the topic. So the topic here was chemistry and society. So for me, I see it better to also paste the topic so that uh, I have the topic and then I have the competency. Okay, so this is what I'm having here. I have uh, topic and competency. Okay, then there's a mark. So this mark has already been entered the other side, but the topic, you put it here manually, here on the master report. We only put it only on this first report. The, all the other students will have it. And uh, this one is advisable to be done before the term ends. Don't wait for the term. Put in the topics which the teachers have skimmed. You can ask the teachers in their departments which topics are they, are they teaching. And these topics should be in line with. Uh, what is on the syllabus if the syllabus is saying these are the topics to be covered then uh, the topics can be entered here and um, okay so some competence is a bit long so you can be able to see how to uh, use them so that they can be able to fit and um, and have the report card still fit on the same page so uh, be able to adjust basing on uh, your competencies uh, there are those which are a bit short and there are those which are a bit long so you can be able to adjust this uh, this particular table if you realize that maybe there is only one competency but we have been counting i looked at all the syllabus books and put enough slots for the competencies and uh, topics covered uh, in each subject in a given term so uh, and th so this is what you need to do so you fill in this um you fill in these ones and then the marks will come automatically from the other side and then after that so this one here is now the teacher the ict teacher who is uh, generating the report card or the teacher in charge of generating the report card so uh, you realize that the comments that we have been capturing the other side like this one here they are they are automatically coming then the teachers the teacher's name the teacher's name is also entered here manually yes it's not coming from the other side and you put it here only on this first one so you put there if the teacher here is um irumba irumba sam okay so you just change the teacher's name here so what is coming from the spreadsheets the other side is the score the descriptor the generic skills and the remarks but uh, the t subject, the topic and competency, and the subject or the, t the teacher's name are typed directly here on the report card. The report card is one. The, ma the master report is the one that you take time to design and uh, take time to put in the competencies. The scores and the marks automatically come from the other side where they are being computed. And uh, we have added another sh uh, enough room for even the electives. All the electives are here and there is even uh, in case you have others that we never capture like nutritional food technology technology and design there is space uh, where you can put them now in case your school is not doing this one actually this page for here can totally be removed 
if you are not if you think because page four is supposed to be actually the final page in the case it is not end of year we can end here on page four and then this last page here can be deleted this last page here is meant for end of year uh, end of year performance so you can change here uh, i'm aware there are some schools which are actually still insisting on giving end of term exams so in that case uh, they would do still enter the end of term exams to be like end of year and this one this page here would be a summary of the formative end of year and then the total there are also those teachers who want to print only one page so although ncdc does not advise that you want a detailed uh, report card in case you want one page then this page here would be the one that you would print out you you this uh, publisher is okay you can delete the other three pages four pages and you remain with only this one that's why you see that even here I still put there the photo and every detail. This other thing here can be removed. Uh, it was just there to, to to give a notice that this page can be deleted. So you can remove that and uh, you remain with this. Uh, you change the class teacher's name, the projects, you can see all the projects that the learner, if the learner did two projects, the projects will be up, will appear here. And then the, the the games, if the learner is in any club, information will be there. Now, the class teacher's comment, this is good work, but you can do better. This is an automated comment. You saw where to customize it from, the other side. Uh, in a spreadsheet, you can put a custom comment there. If you don't, then Excel will automatically put for you a comment, basing on the performance of the learner. Then down here, uh, the head teacher's comment also, there was a room on the class teacher sheet where a teacher's comments can be put but in the case uh, you don't a teacher doesn't have time to come on the computer and start typing you can actually print out the report cards and then uh, someone can be writing these teachers comments as the stamps uh, the report card such that uh, not everything is computer generated there is room for the human eye and human ink to write on the report card the those the class teachers and others and the deputies can help the head teacher on giving comments uh, on behalf of the head teacher so comments like promoted to the next class and others can be put here uh, using a pen after printing which is okay if most of the report card is computer generated i don't think there's a problem with having that part typed manually so you feel free to change here date of issue and then change the motor down here change each and everything the colors and everything so if you really feel that now a report card has been edited the committees are there uh, as you can see um, where the learner missed everything is coming out well you can now come here to generate now report cards for all the class so you click on edit recipients list when you click on edit recipients list it gives you an opportunity to select those students whose report cards you want to print. So you may realize that in the class teacher's class uh, list, there are students who left who are no longer part of the school, or uh, there are those students whom you, uh, maybe they are fees defaulters, or for some reason there are some students you want to omit from uh, printing. So when you say edit recipients list, you can go ahead and remove some students. For example, you can remove this one. And sometimes if you don't do that, it may select even empty spaces. So you can remove all those empty spaces only leave those that you want to print and then you click ok and then after that you click on finish merge and uh, you click on finish merge and and then you say merge to new publication so when you say merge to new publication it is going to generate for you uh, for all the students automatically you only take time on only the master but after editing the master then you can go ahead and you go to mailings and then you finish merge and and then after doing that so you realize that it is going to now to make for you uh, several pages for all the students okay so it, it, it shows you the first student the second student like that uh, then after doing that you can go ahead and um, and uh, and uh, make a PDF yeah so this report card is five pages but it, it was actually also possible to squeeze this on four pages because as you realize this other page here is uh, just having this, uh, which is uh, an optional, and some schools may not be doing that, maybe doing the others. And this other information down here, the clubs, the projects, and everything is repeated. It is here and is also on this other uh, final page here. 
of the head teacher so you can decide to to to, to leave out you can decide to uh, leave out page four delete it off and then you remain with only four pages which can be printed on two sheets of paper if you print back to back so people who are saying that the report card is taking it off stationary that is not a that is not the reason because um if you are been able to you have, you have been managing to print exams you have been managing to print exams um, uh, every time and now these days we are, we are telling us not to print exams then that means you should be able to print a document of four pages for each learner to take back home so this is a uh, qualitative report card so after generating your uh, uh, report cards you can save them as a PDF saving as a PDF is good because it helps you to um, easily print the report cards uh, in, a, in a good way so that uh, they can be uh, printed without any problem. So I can say senior one uh, reports, okay, uh, senior reports. So I can be able to save uh, 2023 uh, term one, okay. So it's always good to have these well renamed. You can even put the name of the school, and then after that, these PDF can be printed and can also be uploaded on Google Drive can be uploaded on Google Drive so that uh, it is a backup even after 10 years you can always have a record so this is my report card um, which I have managed to generate and um, it is having uh, all the students and um, it is a, a very simple tool so you can see um, this software here is not that a software which is going to expire or anything no you get it once and you can always use it in case you are having a uh, uh, primary school nursery school uh, we have software for making report cards for those schools uh, we have for all the curriculum that is uh, the senior fours all the curriculum which has the aggregates and position and divisions and we also have for a level which has points uh so you, you you all of them are using the same uh basing on microsoft office so you can always uh get uh each of uh, any of these that you may need at a very low cost and uh can always use it as needed instead of uh, uh spending a lot on a system yet you can use regular available software on your computer to make the report cards unless if you have other features that you need in those systems but this one should be able to help you to do report cards if that's what you need and also um, you can visit our website on shareability.net we keep sharing other resources in case you need uh, the NCDC syllabuses you just go there and you search NCDC syllabus on shareability.net and uh, you'll see several syllabus books here you can download any of them, can click on any, and you download as you need. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for listening to us. That was a uh, shareability report card software version 2.1, uh, which has new features, um, more electives, uh, there is um, uh, more security, the issue of uh, missed papers, and uh, also the automation. Uh, call us on the numbers here and uh, we shall be able to help you. Thank you very much, uh, and God bless you.